Welcome to part 6 video of Zinc Ultra Sky Plus and Peta Linux. I have titled it Recap, Updates and Next Step. The reason is part 5 of this series has been recorded almost 2 years ago and I have decided to continue with this series. I think they are useful and there are people who look at these videos and they use it. This video is in part supported by Blickfeld company. Blickfeld is a company here in Munich. They create LiDARs. You can use their LiDARs for your project. So what are the updates that I have made in the design and in the flow in comparison with previous version of the project that we had at back in 2018? The first update that I have done is the tool set version is updated so for this series we will continue with vivado 2020.1 peta linux 2020.1 and everything will be running on ubuntu 20.04 now i have also updated the designs and uh, also i have added a new member to the hardware structure that we have i will describe this further in coming slides so i have added the nvidia jetson agx xavier development kit to our setup and as i will show you it's connected to our fpga board i have added two spi slave I, I, ips and as before we have uh, the i2c and gpio interfaces so the photo you see here is basically what we had uh, for our project back in 2018. And, and this is the block diagram that we had for our project back to 2018. So we had the ZCU-102, we had Z-Turn, and this was uh, the Zinc Ultra Scale Base Board. This was the Zinc Base Board. Then on our Zinc Ultra Scale chip that we had on the CU-102, we had the Axi I2C, SPI, GPIO, and then through a set of cables, they were connected to Z-Turn. And there at Z-Turn side, we were running a standalone system. We had ELOS to watch the signals coming from our ZCU-102 board. We had SPI slave, I2C slave, and there was no Petal Linux running here. Petal Linux was running only here on our Zinc Ultra Scale Plus board. And the purpose that we had was to show how one can use SPI, I2C, and GPIO in Petal Linux. Now, I have updated this project a little bit. So here is the board setup for the updated project, and this is what we will follow through the rest of the videos. We have three boards. One, we have the Jetson AGX Xavier connected right now for these projects with SPI to our ZU-104. And then also ZU-104 is connected to the Z board. The connection here between Xavier and ZU-104 right now is very simple. It's only SPI. In future, we are gonna use the PCI Express interface here for interfacing to FPGAs. So here is the block diagram of the updated design. We have Xavier SOC with Volto GPU, Carmel ARM CPU cores, all of those accelerators, massive processing power here. And then there is the SPI master, which is basically transferring and reading back data to ZCU-104 and then here I have developed a custom SPI slave interface, which is DMA capable. Basically is capable of directly writing the data into DRAM and reading the data from the DRAM without intervention of CPU. CPU only provides the addresses and the SPI slave does all of the rest itself. We have the SPI slave core. We have the basically SPI master at Xavier side and these two will be communicating. Then we have also the I2C SPI master. This is 
coming from Xilinx. This is Axi SPI core from Xilinx. And then we have the Axi GPIO. And then at the Z board side, we have ELA to watch the I2C signals. We have basically another custom SPI slave IP, which I have written. This one is not DMA capable. This is completely a slave for the CPU. And this guy reads data and sends data to this XI SPI that we have here. Now, the, another change which is made is here we are also running Peta Linux. So Peta Linux 2020.1 is running on both of the boards at the same time. Our purpose is basically how we should configure Peta Linux so that we can use each of these SPI and I2C interfaces. Furthermore, I have a custom IP here, which is DMA capable. And for this guy, I write a kernel level driver. And the kernel level driver will be running on Peta Linux, will be responsible for allocating memory for my SPI slave block, and then communicating this information to the IP and also the driver will be responsible for providing interface to user level application. So a driver will be also developed there. We go ahead with a review of folder structure for deliverables related to these videos. Then briefly, we look at the ZCU 104 and Z Vivado um, projects. Then we go ahead with Peta Linux. The updates that we will need to do to the root file system, the updates that we will need to do to the device tree, and we will study all of them one after another. Then we will look at the user level apps that we write for both Peta Linuxes for, for this one and for this one to handle the data that is being received and is going to be transferred over SPI. And also we will have a look at the user level app that we have for SPI transfer at Xavier. And then the videos continue um, many more topics which will be covered by this structure.